This is Ozarks Fox AM. Welcome back to the second hour of Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Kelly Smith. And I'm Jeremy Rape. Thanks for tuning in on this Friday. Yes, the day after Valentine's Day. Yes. Yes. Well, how about that? There you have it. <laughs> Are we speechless? We've I'm never been speechless. I'm never speechless. I know. <laughs> no. So, Jer, what do you want to talk about? No, I'm just, I'm glad it's Friday. I'm looking forward to the women's show tomorrow. Yes. I'm not looking forward. I know Elisa has our forecast coming up. I'm just not looking forward to well the, the inclement weather. Right. But the good news is it won't last for long because, you know, Elisa's forecast is going to be above freezing. Tomorrow the sun will be out. I've got a question for you. Yeah. Do you know how many days till spring? No, I haven't. I can Google okay, it. Okay, Google it and find out how many days till spring. Because, I mean, we're halfway through February. I mean, it's, it's probably another six weeks we're going to have to deal with this. But if the weather keeps like it is, we'll have a couple of good days here and there. I'm Googling. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. The, this is not correct. It says 14 days. That's not correct. That is not correct. And then we put in the right year. Why don't you just ask Siri? She never, she never knows uh, what to say. Oh, I could ask Siri. Should I? She and I get into it sometimes. Yeah. How many days until spring 2019? It's 33 days until then. There we Yay! go. That's she all finally we got one right. She did. And, and sometimes I'll, I'll say something to her. It's like, how come you this or that? And she's like, we're talking about you, not me. She's, she's kind of sassy sometimes. Hey, Siri, am I the most handsome man alive? I really couldn't say. Yes. <laughs> how dare you, Siri? Well... <laughs> That is hilarious. Well, you know why she can't see? What? Uh, see, why she can't say is because she doesn't know who she's talking to. Well, if our phones are always watching us, which they are. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Take that, Siri. All right. I'll give you a little tennis kick. I like to have a little fun with Siri once in a while. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I think we should do a new segment. We just ask Siri questions. I like it. And see what she says. Yeah. Although, I'm going to ask her again tomorrow. It's like yeah. the, the, the witch in that story looking yes. in the mirror. Am I the fairest of them all? Yes, that's true. I'll keep asking until I get the answer I want. Yes. Sometimes she makes you feel bad, though. She's like, I'm really trying. I'm doing my best. <laughs> you know, when like, you're kind of mad at her. Are you? Are, are you, you really? really? Is that your best? Okay. Oh, well, anyway. sorry. Yeah. yeah, speaking of the weather, Elisa, I know the inclement weather is on its way. Yes. How is it looking right now? What are we doing? I actually was just doing some tweaks uh, to the ice forecast, so you want to turn you, tune in to Color 10 Midday um, at 11. We'll have the latest, but we do have that advisory now issued for all of our counties. It has been expanded to include North Central Arkansas, so again, now everybody under the gun with the winter weather advisory going until midnight. That means snow and ice will create some slick conditions here as we head through the afternoon. Use extra caution, time, take it slow, and keep that winter safety kit in the car. We're starting to see things arrive here. Uh, this morning, we're seeing these uh, snowy conditions and, and icy conditions along I-49 from Nevada through Joplin and down into northwest Arkansas. It's continuing to spread eastward here, and will do so by the midday today. Uh, we're looking at temperatures about 25 degrees colder now than they were yesterday. It is 26 in Springfield, a little bit closer to freezing to the south and east. And, and again, we're going to set up this threat for freezing rain through the day today. Things becoming increasingly slick. Not terrible for everyone this morning, but we're looking at widespread slick roads by that evening commute today. We'll keep that wintry mix through the afternoon. Temperatures will flirt with freezing. We're looking at snow, sleet, and some freezing rain as we head through the day. So, again, by 10 11, we'll continue to have this become more widespread. Snow to the north. It's looking like we'll see more of a freezing rain and sleet threat in Springfield and then areas uh, south towards the border, uh, including Branson. And then again, Again, getting into northwest Arkansas here. Uh, we'll keep, again, this, the theme will be snow to the more north, freezing rain in the middle, and then uh, some rain to the south. But we'll have all of this try to exit by this evening. It's all clear by 10, 11 o'clock tonight. Temperatures drop into the 20s by tomorrow morning, and then we're looking at temperatures in the 30s uh, tomorrow afternoon with a mix of sun and clouds. The snow forecast uh, still. I ha the, the snow forecast. I still feel pretty good about two to four inches of snow from Clinton up towards Rolla. There will be a snow event for Central Missouri. One to two inches of uh, snow from Stockton to Eminence, and then about an inch of snow and sleet in Springfield. This is what I was just tweaking, and I didn't get to make the changes on the Fox graphics yet. But we're looking at maybe that freezing rain threat coming up a little bit farther north. This uh, warm air that creates the freezing conditions. It is pretty strong, so maybe a little bit closer to a tenth of an inch of ice and. 
Springfield. Again, some of these contours coming up a little bit more as that uh, warm air makes it farther north. But icy conditions, especially around that border. We're looking at the bridges and overpasses becoming slick, especially by uh, lunchtime, and then through the evening commute becoming more widespread and uh, slick there. So again, just keep that in mind. I'll have updates uh, color 10 midday on the CBS station. We'll do that at 11. Uh, Jeremy Kelly, back to you. Thank you. 33 days until spring. <laughs> Alicia, does that make you happy? She's like, that's the moral of the story yes, here this the morning. Moral story. Yes. yes. Go ahead, Elisa. Um, what is today? Is it February? Yes. Mar so March 1st is the first day of meteorological spring, and then spring, the equinox is probably like the 20th. Or the okay, 21st. one day you're going to have to explain why it's a meteorological spring March 1st versus the regular yeah. spring, because I don't know what that means. All it is, it's just a temperature record. So our temperatures, it, it, the meteorological spring, the seasons go by the temperature records, and the astronomical ones where we talk about the, the Earth tilting and all that, that's astronomical. It has to do with the Earth's tilt. So they're just two different ways of looking at it. You know, I've got flowers coming up already. <laughs> She's like, what's, what's the meter for that? You're yeah. so smart, Lisa. She is so smart. You, you make my brain hurt thinking about it. Yeah. Well, we'll just have her keep, keep us updated. But the daffodils usually yeah. first. My daffodils are coming up. Uh, mine are too. Really? Yeah. yeah they all, but they're always the first to come up. And, and then I'm they just, get bit. I'm just praying they don't get bit this year like last year. I know. Well, the forecast. I know. I'm just saying. I know. Okay. We love you, Lisa. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Bye. Coming up, the KGBX Women's Show is tomorrow, and we're visiting with Cox Health next. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Surrey, am I the most talented person ever alive? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really ask.